Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're just going for a world record cider press here in uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is, we're going for the unlimited division of the home-built cider press. Uh, no rules, just right. Uh, our process is uh, we've got homemade grinder, goes into pot. Pot of chunks goes into food processor. Those go into Homer bucket. Scissor jack from my car flat tire kit goes onto board, which gets cranked by man or woman, and uh, which then gets captured through holes in bucket onto sheet pan into our boil kettle. This is our third press, so we have not pressed any more than 15 gallons of mush. I would estimate that we have pressed eh, somewhere between 10 and a half to 12 gallons of mush. Careful! Oh my god. Uh, resulting in, uh, we are sitting at almost, that would be about 7 gallons, and we had to draw off a gallon because we think that we might overflow the bucket on this press. So, yeah, we're calling that a world record for this division of cider pressing. And if anyone thinks they can do better, uh, go ahead and post it in the comments. We'd love to see that. But yeah, if you don't think... Oh, and by the way, every single one of these apples we got for free. We did not pay a single penny for any of these apples. We got them from a couple of parks. Got them from uh, local food sources. You do not ever have to pay for apples if you're making cider. Only thing we paid for in this whole setup, $35 garbage disposal. And I tell you, it paid for itself in two presses. That's a one and a quarter horsepower Titan garbage disposal. Cleaned it up with uh, everything we could. And uh, we believe that any flavor added will just be the terroir. Uh, our grinder, built ourselves. So what we've got here is a rectangular chute to a cylinder full of screws. We put the drill on one end and let it rip. It's the fastest apple grinder in the West. We clocked it. There's no apple grinder faster. So yeah, that's how you make a cider at home. All this is, not all of that, so 90% of it will be hardened appropriately. We usually use a champagne yeast. These are Rhode Island greenies from Piper's Orchard. And, and uh, yeah, when you're done, you just hose it all off and have a good time.